Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while, poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Lin Linda Hogan from the Book of Medicines, published by Coffee House Press in 1993. This was a National Book Critics Circle Award finalist. Um, <clears throat> uh, the poem I'm going to read is entitled Bear. Uh, and is dedicated for smoke and for hawk. The bear is a dark continent that walks upright like a man. It lives across the thawing river I have seen it, beyond the water, beyond comfort. Last night it left a mark at my door that said winter was a long and hungry night of sleep. But I am not afraid. I have collected other nights of fear, knowing what things walk the edges of my sleep. And I remember the man who shot a bear, and how it cried like he did, and in his own voice, how he tracked that red song into the forest's lean arms, to where the bear lay weeping on fired earth, its black hands covering its face from sky, where humans believe God lives larger than death. <clears throat> that man, a madness remembers him. It is a song in starved shadows and nights of sleep. It follows him. Even the old rocks sang, sing it. It makes him want to get down on his knees and lay his own hands across his face and turn away from sky where God lives larger than life. Madness is its own country, desperate and ruined. It is a collector of lives. It is a man afraid of what he's done and what he lives by. Safe. We are safe from the bear and we have each other. We have each other to fear. Bear by Linda Hogan, <coughs> Book of Medicines. <coughs> Coffee House Press, 1993. Um, a really fantastic book and uh, a really fantastic poet. I... Uh, just want to thank you all for uh, for your support on this channel and for all you do. Uh, if you are interested in learning more about the poet, please do check out the description of the video for more information. <coughs> Always a brief bio about the poet, um, a link back to the publisher whenever possible so you can purchase the book yourself, and uh, a list of other projects and series that I'm currently working on. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. I'm Grateful for all of you, grateful for the opportunity to share these uh, poems and to be able to be part of this this wonderful project uh, to celebrate poetry, to celebrate poets, and to provide um, opportunities to, to enter into the larger world of contemporary poetry, to hear that conversation, to learn from it, and hopefully be inspired to write your own poetry. Um, and if not poetry, to inspire you to create in some other way. Uh, to engage in the broader world. Um, <coughs> as you can hear, I still have some lingering cough uh, from my bout with COVID uh, about a week and a half ago. Um, so I'm uh, recovering and uh, doing better. Most days and nights, I'm pretty solid. Occasionally, I have nights where I have these coughing fits. <coughs> so here's to me and here's to a nice herbal tea to see if I can balance out a little bit of that. Um, and thank you all for your support and your viewership. And uh, if you want to support us, just like these videos, subscribe to the channel, comment below, or share these videos as links in social media. And all this helps support these great poets and help more people discover their work. Um, thank you again, and uh, we'll be back in a couple days. As always, it's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, we'll be back with more poetry and more reading. Until then, stay safe and well, and uh, be be good. <laughs> be active in your own creative projects. I'm wishing you all the best, all the best with your uh, creative pursuits and your own journey. And uh, we'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.